What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Sarah. I am doing a full glam look today as you can see. This is the look that we created. I actually wore this to a wedding I went to last weekend and I got a bunch of questions about it. So I wanted to just film the entire thing step by step because there are a couple of extra steps in there to make this makeup look last all day. Also make your skin just look like really flawless. I'm gonna see people in person. I wanna look a little more put together, a little bit more formal. I just think this is a beautiful full coverage but still very natural makeup look. So if you guys wanna see how I created this look right here, then keep on watching. Before we jump in, if you are new here, make sure you subscribe to my channel before you go. Join the fam. I have new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. And make sure you say hey in the comments. I'm always responding there. I would love to meet you guys. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is use my Grande Pout Lip Mask. This lip mask is game-changing. It plumps and hydrates my lips like you would not believe. I also feel like this mask provides like a little bit of a lip height, um, lip exfoliation. It feels like it like loosens up all the dead skin on my lips so when I go to wipe it off, my lips are so, so smooth. So priming is gonna be a really important part of this makeup look because really the point is to make our skin look perfect, snatched, flawless, poreless, and we want our makeup to last all day. So I'm gonna use a couple different things. First is my MAC Fix Plus, and I'm just gonna spray it all over. Douse your face with that. I like to just let that dry down a bit. And then very important, I'm gonna go on with my Benefit Professional Primer. It has this like, I will show you the consistency as I apply it, but you wanna use a good amount of this basically wherever you have enlarged pores or a breakout or texture. So my enlarged pores are around my nose. So I get texture and lines right here. So I'm gonna focus it there. I have some lines here and I'm not trying to like really rub it in hard. I'm really lightly just letting it lay on the skin. And then the majority of my texture is on my chin. So I do a good amount on my chin. But I honestly think this is one of the most important parts. I mean, making sure your skin is hydrated, that Fix Plus helps a lot, but also this primer. Okay, so for this look, you're gonna need a damp sponge. Honestly, I feel like this is my new favorite full coverage foundation. It's the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation, right there. I'm in the shade light something neutral something i can't read those numbers pump and a half of this on my hand i'm going to mix that with my mac strobe cream i can see the luminosity from the strobe cream when i mix it in like the foundation looks doesn't that look beautiful you can like see it's how sheen it is it's beautiful now i'm just going to place this all over the face when i did this makeup look i had too much on my hand and i wiped it off because i had too much a little of this goes a long way but i just want to make sure like we're getting like a real full coverage look see grab some setting spray i love the pore professional um super setter and i'm gonna just hit my face with that because that is just going to add a whole nother layer now we're gonna start blending and you can see like you guys see how this foundation blends out with those two products or three products underneath it makes your skin look freaking airbrushed it's amazing you just want to spend a good amount of time blending this out so that it is seamlessly in your skin if you need to go on with another coat of that setting spray just to like reinvigorate this foundation go for it but like realistically i think i only needed one pump of this foundation all right, next up as usual, we're using our concealer. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy in the shade Custard. And I'm just gonna use this where I always would, nothing crazy with concealer today. So I just use it in the corner and then I use it to like kind of lift the eye. My redness around my nose, I do my Cupid's bow, my chin, and I'm basically highlighting right now. I do the center of my forehead and down the bridge of my nose. I do a little exclamation point on my nose. Then any other little jerks. If you want, go back in with your setting spray. You can do this all throughout the makeup process. You will not believe how long your makeup stays on for. And it just makes everything blend out so seamlessly. Okay, time to set because I'm not gonna use any more cream products. So I'm actually using my Thrive Cosmetics Filtered Effects Setting Powder right here. So I'm gonna set my under eye. I wanna keep it light. Like I don't wanna do a ton of powder. 
So you can see I'm kind of dipping and then tapping off excess. I'm really just hitting the areas where I know I'm about to put powder on. So I'm about to bronze up here and then anywhere that gets oily or does not, like your makeup doesn't stay on easily, that's where we're setting. Next up, we're bronzing also with the Thrive Thrive Bronzer. This is called Sun Chaser in the shade Rhea. And this Wander Beauty brush is so good for bronzer. It has this angled fluffy brush and it's awesome. So I just like dab. I never like swoop in my bronzer because this stuff is so pigmented. I just dab and then I also kind of just dab it on my face. So you can see I'm keeping this pretty high up. I use my ear and my, the corner of my mouth as my guide. I try and keep it high up and I'm just dabbing at first and I'll go over and blend it. But like my first pass at bronzer, I'm really just dabbing. I'm just trying to like get that color down and then we can build it once we've like created the shape that we're going for. I'm gonna hit underneath my jawbone. This is going to just like slightly contour, give a little bit of a shadow there to make the jawline look more defined. But look how beautiful this bronzer is. This is gonna be my summer bronzer for sure. These products are all super clean as well. Did a little bit of a nose contour that day, but you can just grab a smaller brush, stay in this bronzer. So I'm using kind of this line right here as my guide. I'm just gonna go straight down just like that. I'm not gonna do anything crazy. Do the exact same thing on the other side. You just wanna make sure that the line that you're creating that you're not touching is totally straight. I don't do this often, but when I'm going to an event or something where I just wanna look like extra snatched, these tiny little things make a difference. And then I just go back in with my bronzer brush and I kinda just dab this on. And this is gonna blend it out further. I always wanna check my bronzer and see if I brought it down a little too far, which tends to happen. So I just grab my same sponge I was using and I kinda just, nothing on this, just kinda press in where I don't want there to be any bronzer. And you can see that creates a much more defined line. I don't want it like cut. I want it to be blended still. I always use my beauty blender to clean stuff up. Eyeshadow, bronzer, I'm always just kind of picking it up and blending things out a little bit more. So I'm using this Becca blush. I'm sorry, cause I know they're going out of business and you may not be able to get this, but it's actually a highlight. So it's called Own Your Light. It is like this beautiful pink gold iridescent shade. It's so pretty for summer. I will try and find a dupe if I can, um, or I'll see if this is still available. Everything will be linked below. I'm using the other side of that Wander brush, and I just wanna show you guys the effect that this gives. Do you see that? How gorgeous is that? But I love this one because it's basically a highlighter. So I kind of apply it where I would apply apply my blush and my highlight and I don't need another highlight or another blush. I just think that is so freaking stunning. All right, so the face part of this makeup is what takes the most amount of time and I think is the most important. The eyes I kept super basic. So we're actually just gonna go back into that bronzer and I'm gonna use my big fluffy Morphe E27 and I'm just gonna carve out because it's the bronzer we used, it's gonna look very natural. The only other thing I use for eyeshadow is this Charlotte Tilbury palette right here. This is the Pillow Talk Luxury Palette. This is one of those palettes that like, if you're gonna buy an eyeshadow palette and you don't know which one to buy, like this is the one you buy. <laughs> it lasts me forever. I use it for everyday life, but I also use it for special occasions. It does everything. So I'm just gonna kind of dip back and forth into the brown and the pink. The brown, I'm just gonna keep a little more focused on the outer part of the lash. And you can see I'm just kind of like dabbing. I'm not really um, like swooping too much because I just wanna build that color. And then I'm gonna go in with the pink and do that more on the lid, you can see. So I'll start doing these circular motions and these sweeping motions. And because we primed, and we used concealer and setting powder. This is blending like a dream. I mean, this eyeshadow palette is so easy to use as it is. It blends so beautifully. But I just think that is like done, easiest eyeshadow look ever. And then I go back into these two shades with a smaller brush. This is the E17. And I'll do my lower lash line. And then we pop into these two shades, these shimmer shades right here. And I kind of just mix them together. I just press this right in the inner corner with my eye shut and I kind of pull it up and pull it down so it kind of fades into the eye, just like this. And then whatever's left over on my finger, I'll hit my top of my brow bone. I'm gonna do brows like very last, okay? I know that's weird, but 
that's what we're gonna do. Okay, two more products for the eyes, just the liner and the mascara. So I'm using the Charlotte Rock and Coal in brown, in brown Barbarella. I use this all the time. And then I'm using the Their Real Magnetic Mascara from Benefit. So I'm just lining the outer part of my waterline. Okay, you can lift up your lid if you want, but you don't have to. You need a coal product like this. You can't just use a regular eyeliner because it's not gonna stick to your waterline. And if you wanna use this technique, it needs to stick to the waterline. So that's it. That's just, I'm doing it on the outer corner. I don't wanna do the whole thing because it's gonna make my eye look smaller. And I don't want that, but I do want a little bit of definition. So I just kind of lift up, I do right under, and then I pull down and do right inside. I try not to pull very much. And then I pop this mascara on. And similar to the eyeliner, I focus this on the outer lashes because I want to pull the lashes out and, you know, kind of elongate the eye. So I kind of want them going this way, not just up. I've been using this mascara nonstop. I like honestly can't stop using it. I just think it gives like a very cool, different effect to the lashes than I'm used to. And it doesn't make my lashes feel crusty. Pop this on the left eye, exact same way. I'm just kind of pulling outward. I made a disaster mess on my lid, but we're gonna clean that up. Okay, so for lips, I'm using the Jaclyn Lip Liner. You guys saw me try out her lipsticks on one of my other videos. I ordered the lip liner and I am obsessed. So I just wanna show you guys how beautiful it is and how it goes on. If you have that lip mask on, this would be the time to wipe it off. I would recommend a paper towel, but I don't have one. The dead skin, it just comes right off. My lips feel amazing. I feel like they're just like, oh, so good. Like plumped, hydrated, soft, smooth, everything. All right, so look at how this lip liner glides on. Can you believe that? It's like, I don't even have to go over. I could do like one swipe if I wanted to. These are awesome. I honestly like these a lot better than the MAC ones. I think I like them even better than the Charlotte Tilbury ones. Then I'm gonna go on with my MAC lipstick in Blankety, which this lipstick slays my life. Okay, you could be done. You could be, but if you want it to be more extra like me, I'm using my MAC um, lip gloss in see-through. Just a little bit on the center. Hello. I'm gonna try and get this mascara off. And just use a spoolie. Last step before brows is setting spray. Okay, your makeup is not gonna move for like eight hours and it looks flawless. Okay, so brows, I don't know why I saved those for last, but I did. So I'm gonna use a new product that I am so in love with. This is the Emily Heath Brow, I forget what it's called, Full Up Brow Powder. It is so cool. It is unlike any brow product I've ever used, and then I'm gonna use my 24 hour brow setter from Benefit, which I always use. I just wanna show you how cool and easy this is to use. I actually think I'm gonna put the brow gel on first. So I'm just combing these upward. And they already have like a relatively nice shape. I've been growing them out. And I'm actually gonna put this powder on top. It is so cool. Here's the wand. I'm just gonna like fill them in where I have those sparse areas. And this is just gonna define the shape a bit more. It just is the easiest thing I've ever used to fill in my brows. And it makes them still look super natural and like feathered, but defined. Isn't that so, like look at the difference between this brow and this brow. It's really understated, but I just think it's so freaking easy to use and they look, like I said, so nice to find, but still so natural. So there you have it guys. This is the final look finished. This is a flawless, honestly not that complicated makeup look. Just those couple of extra steps are gonna take your makeup to the next level, take the look to the next level, but also make that makeup last all day long. Like, this is not coming off my face, I'm telling you right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did, and I will see you next week. Bye.